So I have here a stunning photo by Andrew Sutherland of the Glasshouse Mountains on the eastern coast of Australia, just north of Brisbane. It's taken from Mary Cane Cross Scenic Reserve near Maloney in the Sunshine Coast hinterland. From here we're looking south towards Brisbane and the photo was probably taken soon after sunrise in July 2014. Now at that time of the year it's winter in Australia so the air would be cool and dry allowing for a very clear picture. The camera here is at an elevation of about 427 metres above sea level. Now for this video I want to focus in on the central peak called Mount Canaran and the hills that you can see in the distance behind it. Mount Canaran has a height of 377 metres and the distance from the camera is about 13 kilometres. So from our vantage point we're looking down on the top of the peak. The mountains you can see in the background are part of the Tambourine Plateau and they rise about 525 metres above sea level and they're about 130 kilometres away from the camera. Now, as you can see, even though the Tambourine Plateau is higher than both Mount Canaran in the foreground and our camera height of about 427 metres, it is clearly below the peak, which suggests we're looking down onto those background hills. Now, I was playing around with terrain profiles in Google Earth and I stumbled across a site called geocontext.org and it allows me to draw a line on a Google map and then extract the terrain profile as a CSV. It even allows you to save your profile and I've shared a link in the description so that you can check what I'm doing yourself. I drew a line from the Mary Kane Cross scenic reserve all the way through to Bilbra Lookout in the Springbrook National Park because a line between those two points happens to pass very close to Mount Canaran. That gave me a CSV with about 500 data points which I copied to a spreadsheet. I've also shared a link to this spreadsheet in the description and you can see in the sample on the screen I've added a couple of extra columns. The first is the tangent drop of the ground due to the curvature of the earth. Now I've used Pythagoras' formula in the spreadsheet to work out the exact drop, but you could use the old 8 inches per mile squared formula over the distances we're talking about without any significant error. You can see at the 1628 metre mark, which is about a mile, the drop is 0.2 of a metre, or about 8 inches. The last column is the elevation of the point of the ground minus the drop due to curvature. We'll have a look at why I did that in a minute. Now, because I didn't quite get my line exactly over the peak of Mount Canaran, I needed to adjust the data point at the 13.3 kilometre mark to the published height of 377 metres. Apart from that, I'm using all the data as it came from the geocontext.org website. What I did next was plot those three lines. The top reddish coloured line is a standard terrain profile showing the height above mean sea level. The bottom blue line is the drop in the level due to the Earth's curvature. The green line in the middle is the top terrain line adjusted down for the curvature of the Earth. Now, the plot of the green line isn't quite right because the heights should be bent around the circle perpendicular. But that's not really going to affect our analysis. The horizontal scale of the plot is obviously compressed, but even so, any straight line will always remain straight. So the top line actually represents a true undistorted elevation profile if the Earth was flat. But there's a problem. If we draw a sight line from our camera position at 427 metres and over the top of the Tambourine Plateau, it's quite clear from that line that one should be looking up and that the peak of Mount Canaran should appear below the mountains in the background. Yes, perspective does make more distant objects look smaller, but it can't change their physical height. So objects above you are still above you and objects below you are still below you, no matter how far away they are. You can also see that as we get closer to Bilbra Lookout, the height of the terrain is increasing up to a thousand metres in places. However, that higher mountain range does not appear in the photo. Now, if we draw a line of sight across the lower terrain, taking into account the curvature of the Earth, 
you can see a very different story. The line cuts through the top of the peak of Mount Canaran, just like in the photo. And you can also see that the Bilbra lookout is completely obscured by the curvature of the Earth, despite it being 500 metres higher than the Tambourine Plateau in front of it. So what this means is we're actually seeing in this photo the effects of the Earth dropping down in front of us over a distance of about 130 kilometres or so. So the curvature of the Earth is there if you know how and what to look for and obviously a little bit of local knowledge always helps.